minor and D and put them together and create a little interlude to use today for some carol playing. Well hi there, I'm Kylie and I love to share easy tips and tricks to inspire you to learn the love of music. Join me every Thursday here for some piano tutorials and there's also some instrumental videos going up on Mondays for you too. Please subscribe if you haven't already as this will really help me out and thumbs up is always the best compliment. So let's jump into two carols today. What Child Is This? and We Three Kings. We're going to link them together and create this little interlude. So to link our pieces, let's start with a high E minor up in the right hand. We're going to play a first inversion up the top here with starting on our G, B and E. And let's play the outside notes together. And a little pattern like that. Hold and rocking out. So our left hand is going to do two notes while the first one holds. Hold and rocking out. We're just going to go over the E minor arpeggio. Slip your thumb to your three finger in the middle, up to your high E there. And together again. Hold and rocking out. Again, so both, left, both, 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 both. If you're after some easy carol music, I've had this one for years and years, but I have seen it around still in the shops. And it's a lovely little version in that it has um, some simple piano parts, but then it also has some chords thrown above. So you can always throw it, play a chord note, or um, it's also got some quite pretty bass lines as well. So our second chord is all that we need to create this little interlude with our first E minor. So onto um, a D that's also in a first inversion. So we're just gonna play from the F sharp, A and D. Down here, we're gonna play from our low D here and go over again to our A, D, third finger over, all the way up to the top D. So hold, left hand, and over, rocking. Out. So same again for the right hand, hold and rocking out. So in and out between those two positions and the left hand's going to come over all the way up to our thumb with our D there. So again together, so it's both, left, both, 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 both. So do that a few times and get it really comfy. Then we can flip it all around. Then we can go down the octave with our left hand. So both, left, both, 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 then go to the D, both, both, and E again. And so on. When linking songs together, it's really important to think about three things. So first of all, we need to check what key are the pieces in. If the key is in E minor and E minor, or same, then that's really easy to link together if thinking key-wise. We Three Kings of Orient uh, actually finishes in the key of G, which is also related to the E minor. So that will actually flow together um, quite nicely. The second thing to think about is to think about the speed. Are the speeds the same between the first piece and the second piece? These need to be very similar if you're wanting to flow the pieces on together. The third thing to think about is are the moods of the two pieces um, the same? Whether you're linking two or three pieces together as a bit of a medley, think about this mood. So I might sing along the words and just get a feel if it's the same sort of calm, gentle mood and the same speeds then that can work really well. What child is this? Da, 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 da. We three kings of Orient are. So you can sort of get the idea. If it's the same speed there, the same key, same starting notes. If it's the same kind of feel and lilt and mood of the song, then they can join together really well. So let's join it all together now by just using two chords and we'll make our own little medley. <laughs>
thanks so much for joining me today. This is Carol number three. If you'd like to check out the other two, then I'll put the links there as well. Happy music making.